Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Pentax Spotmatic 2. It came out in 1971. If I remember correctly, it had a run of about five years. Uh, the original 1960 Spotmatic prototype had spot metering. Uh, the marketing folks thought that uh, that would be too difficult for a lot of people, so they changed it to center weighted averaging but apparently the promotional materials and everything were too far along and they didn't rename it. So that's why a center weighted uh, averaging metering camera ended up with a name like the Spotmatic. There's few, there are a few differences between the, the Spotmatic 2 and the original SP. You can select between the uh, electronic flash and uh, the setting for the old flash bulbs. This one has a hot shoe, this one doesn't, and the pentaprism is a little wider on the Spotmatic 2 because they didn't need the room on the original. There's a roller on the film door, holds the film a little flatter, makes the feed a little bit smoother. Uh, I've read that they improved the shutter. I'm not really sure what the difference there is. They both have a max speed of a thousandth of a second. Self timer was modified again. I'm not in sh not sure in exactly what way. The meter has a greater EV range on the Spotmatic 2. They also increased the uh, film speed range. This one goes from 20 to 3200, and there's a slightly brighter viewfinder. It is a dead simple camera. Uh, it uses the M42 screw mount which I love because the super multi-coated Takamar, I've got a 1.4 on here. It was actually one of their standard lenses, that and a 55mm uh, at f2. So I can share lenses between um, the old Zenits, uh, some of the Shinon, uh, some of the old Mamiya Secor lenses like I have on the SP. Um, I even have an adapter. I've used a few of them on my uh, my digital Canon. Uh, it does stop down uh, match needle exposure. This switch, when the lens, there's a switch on the lens, is set to auto. You hit this switch, it stops the lens down so it meters at the aperture you have selected. You take the shot and it sets it back to automatic so that uh, you know, you're always composing uh, brightly, but then, you know, it does the stop-down metering. It's pretty slick. It originally took the, uh, the 1.35 volt mercury battery. Obviously, everything in this camera will work just fine without the, without the metering. Um, you know, like the K1000, it can operate fully mechanically. There are modern options for the battery. There's a PX400S, I think, is the silver oxide version, and various other batteries. I've read conflicting reports, and I haven't torn into one of these yet to uh, find out for myself, but that, that they'll work with uh, alkaline batteries. There's a voltage regulation circuit in here. I'm not sure if that's right, but this guy does meter just right with a uh, 1.4 volt uh, hearing aid battery. I have loved shooting with this camera. There's something about uh, these old mechanical guys that's just wonderful. The way they feel, the chunk when they when they uh, when the shutter goes, I love it. Um, I did share part of the role with the uh, the Mamiya 135E, the slide film. Then I shot another roll of horrendously expired Agfa black and white. Got some good results with this one. I shared that with a little plastic uh, trash cam that I'll be reviewing in a bit. So I'm going to keep shooting with this guy. I really, really like it. So I'll see you then.